How slow? Oosh, like that. Chris, all the way from Australia. How's it going, sir? Hope you're both well. I've only just made it. I had a, a quick warm up and then I had a complete technical meltdown. So, um, relieved. <laughs> relieved to have got the stream up and running. If you could let me know if the sounds are right, that'd be appreciated. Thank you. I also better check to see how I look on the camera, see if I've managed to even. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Is one okay, is that, Chris, in terms of the sound? Hey, Daniel, how are you, Ruben? How's it going, sir? Corrine? Any more 100 mile rides on the agenda? What about you, Ruben? Any more massive grand tours of Europe? I'm gonna win. <laughs> MZ, how's it going? Hey, David, you're right, and Theo, on Ed's training program, both of you. All in it together. Hey, Tim. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Niels is here as well. I hope you're going to be racing again soon, Niels. Hey, Oliver, I see you're in this. Good luck. I think I'm pretty sure you're in this. I'm, unless you've gone back out. Yeah, Oliver, I saw you in this one. Good luck, sir. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Thank you, Alstow. Appreciate that. Much appreciated, Daniel. Gus, I take it you're racing this one as well still. I know you raced the last one. Quinton is racing this as too. Alan, hope you're doing well, sir. Hi, David. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Busy lives, especially in the week. It's unusual for me to get a little slot to have a race. Exams next week, Reuben, well, good luck. Now in the link in the description, it's something that's quite intriguing. Eddie Rice is a very, very good cyclist. And he's trying to raise money for World Cycling Relief, sorry, World Bicycle Relief. And he's doing it by riding for 24 hours on Alp de Zwift this Saturday. 24 hours of climbing, horrendous. Well anyway, Eddie's doing it for a great cause to raise money for kids in countries that don't have access to bikes but have long distances to travel. So the link is in the description. If you've got a few pounds to support him, he'd hugely appreciate it. But check out, he's got a live stream on Saturday or join him on the Alp. I mean, he's gonna be there for 24 hours, right? Hi Joe, thank you very much for joining. No, you can, um, you can go into the um, aero tuck, Joe. That's fine. The aero tuck is good on the watt bike. It's just a question of the, the, the gradient for descent has to be sufficiently, um, you know, probably more than 6%, I reckon. And you have to be, for me, more than 60 kilometers an hour. Then the aero tuck works fine. Dan, thank you very much for joining. And to you, Dean. Hi, Philip. How are you going? No problem, Philip, you know, I really appreciate you checking in for a few seconds, that's much appreciated. <laughs> you're just saying that, David, because we know the kind of training sessions you're putting in. Lord, Lord of the statistics, good to see you. Right, let me just, uh, right, so today on the agenda, and this is why it's got, I think Ed's racing this now, Oliver is, Gus is, and Quinton is, it's a really nice race that you can't just go on uh, to practice. It's the Bologna course. And this one is two ascents of the Bologna climb. And that's pretty much why I'm doing it. It's a rarity. Uh, more than, well, I find it's more than 6% decline, um, Tim. But that's what I personally find. But I guess it depends on rider weight and all that kind of thing as well. Lighter riders. I think you need a bit more um, speed up and a bit more gradient to benefit from the aero tuck. But yeah, 3%, yeah, that could probably work. I haven't really, I never try it on 3%. I always find I have to kind of pedal at 200 watts um, on the slower gradients. 
No, definitely 60 kilometers an hour, 100% agree. The F4 Phantom. Meals. What a plane. To fly in one of those. I mean, incredible. All right, here we go, six seconds. <laughs> I've got this, hey, Zach. Um, time will tell. I'm just looking for a good race. A couple of good ascents, hopefully. Hey Peto, hope you're keeping healthy. Thank you ever so much for everything you've done for us, keeping us healthy and safe. Peto works on the wards for the NHS. He's a nurse. Show Ed what I'm made of. That's the intent, Zach. Hey Grim Reaper, thank you very much. That undulating pyramid from hell, sorry, that ultimate pyramid from hell was just as bad as it looked. I think Chris Pritchard spared you from the worst of the pain face. Right, let's get the uh, gear dropped. Spin a bit more. You see, I'm dropping to the back. That's very true, Peto. On the descent, if you're on trainer difficulty 50%, you descend slower, I think. Um, or you need to keep pedaling more, sorry, yeah. Um, have I got that right? Could you explain, Peto? I know what you're saying is correct, I've just badly explained it. Trainer difficulty 50%, definitely disadvantages you on the descent. I always ride with 75% to replicate the 32 cassette on the back. Hey Phil Rich, how are you today? Another of Ed's students. So my plan is, and Quinton, I'd love to beat Quinton, obviously. But Quinton is very, very strong at the moment. Like, really strong. Quinton. And he's got the punch to die for. I mean, wow, what a punch. So my plan today is to gut out, hopefully, 325 to 330 watts on the first climb. recover on the descent in the aero tuck and have courtesy of Coca-Cola, one of them. Hopefully it won't be too bad then on the flat bit until we hit the descent again and then it's just cling on the grim death. Oh, off the front, oh slow, you ain't like that. Yeah, I'll say that pyramid, recommend it, especially on the climb. Yeah, feeling okay. Thank you, Phil. We'll see 
when we hit the climb. Ah, yeah. Well, Mick, Quentin's probably right. He's already winning the mental battle. But I will do my best. Yeah, Grim Death from the Grim Reaper. Two climbs today, Tim. I got it wrong last time, but I've done my homework this time. No pink monsters, Lord. Amino acids, cold coffee and water, plus oats for breakfast and a protein shake. This is my special ingredient, Lord. Midway. All right, not far off the first climb now. It's been quite civilized. Trying to get the breathing under control. The garage signifies the climb is imminent. Now I reckon the Tron bike is a disadvantage on the climb that will pay off on the descent and the flat. Cheers Mick. Look at that, 79 watts. Ham and cheese sandwich. Enjoy Oslo. Thank you, Alan. Coca-Cola. I'm loving it too. Oh, two garages, I didn't realize two. I thought it was one. Here we go. Bit more than 330 watts, eh?
There it is. Oh. Horrible. Aero tucking nicely, you see, not pedaling. Oh. Oh dear, that really took a lot out of me. Oh. So Quentin has left me for dead. Wow. That was a real struggle. Heart rates recover, but the legs haven't. Thanks, Fia. I'm just gonna try and stay in this group here. Try and restart the diesel engine. Oh. Okay. Sure is old slow. Legs feel like jelly. I'm hoping they'll kind of recover. Hey Malcolm, thanks for joining. Tamakuzu, how are you? So surprised that you're still able to ride after your Everest. You keep putting them in, unbelievable. Hey Maximus, how are you? It's all a bit emotional here right now. Oh. A lot of Ed's training is all about big efforts and then putting in a bit of zone three or four. And that pays off at times like this. I'm kind of mid zone three, I guess. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Not feeling strong, I was feeling all right, but that was right on my limit going up that climb. <laughs> yeah, must be geographical. I think over millions of years, certainly mountains form. That's so funny, Patrick. Hi, James, thank you. Hit inflation. Hit inflation, inversely proportional to age for the maths students out there.
Water. I do know it's a false economy to try and cane it on the flat here. I'm going to content myself by being the grey man in the wheels. Oh, got to get in them though. Thank you, Fox. That's the plan. It nearly got dropped. Lack of concentration. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it, Oslo. Just time to remind people. Hey, Eddie. I was literally about to say that before you joined the chat here. Eddie's doing 24 hours on Out the Zwift on Saturday to raise money for World Bicycle Relief. Join him on the climb. Charity link is in the description. If you've got a few pounds or euros or any other currency to spare, it'd be hugely appreciated. That's right, Alan. Intercontinental displacement. It happens to us all. Hey, Johan. Another healthcare worker. Johan works in the surgical theatres. Respect, sir. Jose, thank you for joining. How are you? I'm in a world of trouble. Pleasure, Eddie, it's a great cause. World Bicycle Relief, raising money to give kids from disadvantaged backgrounds in countries like Africa, continents like Africa, where they have to travel a long distance to see family or school. And bicycle is the only alternative to walking. Respect to you, Eddie. Saturday, this Saturday, 24 hours on out the Zwift. Nobody needs that in their life. Definitely worth sponsoring. Hi, Andrew. Morning to you, sir. One more ascent of Bologna to come. Okay, so we're on the backward lap now. Gotta concentrate for a moment. That was quite a wide line, wasn't it? Mr. BJ Pitt, cheers, sir. <laughs> there indeed goes Ed. Zone two. Oh. So Eddie, I assume you're tapering for the 24 hours on Saturday? I would be. By tapering, I mean not going anywhere near a bike. 
Well, that's probably not the best thing to do, I guess. So I'm feeling okay now, just about ready to contemplate, not yet start, to contemplate the fact that there's another of those ascents to come. Aiming not to go quite so deep, quite so early. That makes sense, Eddie. Hey Stuart, thanks for joining. Keep the legs turning over, makes sense, Eddie. I'm sure you will, Eddie. Just pace it. I say just pace it. How do you just pace 24 hours of cycling? Wouldn't even know where to begin, other than 50 watts. I hope people are observing my lack of etiquette here and doing literally no turns on the front of this group. I used to get told off. I'm hoping people are observing the improvement in my rudeness here. Oop, off the front by accident, but straight off the watts. Ed would call me Kirchmeier. Hey Graham. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I need to pace it better than the first climb. Yeah, my heart rate's always high, Mick. Rarely does it go below 160. And soon it'll be soaring into the 180s. That would still be a massive challenge, 150 for the full 24 hours, Eddie. <laughs> Cheers, Lord. You're a connoisseur of such things. It's much easier in the real world, Eddie. And I reckon, well, you'll know that better than me. I always forget, I'm a complete newbie. The micro adjustment, that's a great way of describing it, Oslo. All right, I'm gonna do a little pace here on the front, just to my comfortable tempo.
Thanks so much, Andrew. That means a lot to me. It's really motivating all the, the kind of encouragement that people give. Thank you. It's a doozy. Here we go. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I'd be interested to get your thoughts on sports nutrition. Had a slightly less stressful moment. Definitely Stuart, I love this course. It's horrid, the climb is horrid, but there's something about it. Here we go.
Oh. oh dear me. Oh. Really struggling there. Let's see what the power curve is. Oh. Oh. I think I've done it wrong here. Oh dear, why do I do this? I am such an idiot. I can never do this. Oh dear me. Let's go back to Richmond. Right, I have to have a look to tell you. On training peaks, the data, I'm sorry. But that was, you know, that was good in terms of the climbs, I think. <laughs> Push that groove ahead. Oh dear me. Oh dear. Right, my peak.
Yeah, so my, these are good peaks actually in the course of a race. Uh, my peak five minute power was 344 watts. Um, I think my best ever is about 383, um, but that's completely fresh. My peak 10 minute power was 320 watts, which again, that's really good. I just wish I could have seen what the eight minute power, because it's roughly, I think, an eight minute climb. I could just do a quick, on the map graph, let's get rid of the sweat. Yeah, so actually this is pretty good. My peak nine minute power um, on the climb, just to the, you won't be able to see that way in focus, was 331 watts normalized, 324 average. So right up there with my best. Um, so I don't think I could have done much more on that climb. It was just I was beaten by so many better riders. Hey, Oliver, nice one. Ah, you, you and me were in the same group. Um, I was in such a world of misery, I really, um, not misery, such a world of like um, introspection on the, the difficulty of recovering and all that kind of stuff. I, I had got no idea where you were. I assumed you were up ahead with Ed Laverack and Gus and uh, Quentin. Um, it's a nice one. All right, so yeah. Yeah, we are uh, buddies on the climb. I'm loving that. Oh. How did you find it, Oliver? I think it's a really good course, isn't it? It's so uplifting. It's just um, beyond challenging to kind of keep that infernal pace going up the steep climb. Uh, cheers, Eddie. And thank you, everybody. Really appreciate that. Um, definitely, I recommend, look out for either the Bologna TTs. They're sort of every, I think, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, that kind of thing. Or um, occasionally you see people doing a climbing race on Bologna. And, they, and I, it's the climbing races that I really love because you don't get to pace it exactly as you want it. And so when you hit the climb, your heart rate is what it is. And you've just got to kind of try and figure out how to manage your resources. And so, you know, it was a relatively nice approach to the first climb. And so I was able to go quite deep, especially at the beginning. But I had to, you'll see, pull back a little bit because I was on the verge of going too far into the red and boiling over. And on the second climb, I hadn't really fully recovered. Um, and so I paced it a little bit better, but I was gradually getting dropped by people, um, but managed to kind of cling into part of the group. Um, but I reckon, again, that would have been way north of, you know, 305, 310 watts for that second climb. So pretty decent all in all. <laughs> Cheers, Ed. I don't know how you do it, Ed, on the back of you know, a long race, including um, the Long Hill. Is it Keith Hill or Fox Hill in London? And then you just kind of go and smash it there. What was what was your power, Ed, uh, up the climb? I bet you've got like a, a nice minute, eight minute power there. And I need to go and check out Quinton's replay as well, because I reckon he was going like a bat out of hell up that climb. Absolutely superb. Couldn't I? There's just no way I could stay with him. Anyway. I'm hoping to do a live stream race on either Saturday or Sunday, uh, potentially Saturday. There's a long one because I've got in mind um, Keith Robertson, and this will appeal um, to you, Eddie, potentially, but not obviously imminently. But to anyone, Tomokuzu, for instance, who was in the stream a little earlier, Tomokuzu did an Everest attempt um, last, was it last Saturday or the Saturday before. Um, but very recently, Tom Akuzu did the full Everest on Alpe Zwift in about 11 and a half hours. Incredible. He was then back um, riding some pretty big rides the day after. So obviously, Tom Akuzu's legs are on fire. But um, Keith Robertson has also done the Everest. Um, Eddie's about to do the 24 hours on Everest. But Keith said what was harder than an Everest is actually uh, in his head, and in his experience, not his head, his experience, is doing four ascents up out the Zwift, not dropping below four watts a kilogram on each ascent. And obviously you're doing them back to back, i.e. you're not doing one day, then another day, then another day. And that really appeals to me.
because um, it has relevance to the event. Obviously, Ed and I are still hoping to travel to La Marmotte uh, in September. Um, Ruben is hopefully going to be there as well, I think. Um, and obviously, the Marmotte has got five and a half thousand meters of climbing um, in a day, 170 kilometers, and you know, beautiful, blah, 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 blah. But four ascents up out the Zwift um, is about, what, 4,400 meters of climbing, which is more than the Uber pretzel. Um, therefore, therefore, I just figured it would have, you know, given it you're going up, and then you've got the recovery on the way down, and I will go slowly on the way down. That would be. Um, my idea. I thought it might have a bit of utility to do the Marmotte in September. And so I was figuring that um, on Saturday there is a race that encompasses, I think, the four horsemen, all four of the climbs in Zwift over a relatively short distance. You're not having to do the 128 kilometres to do it. I say relatively short, I still think it's like 70 kilometres in total. And so I'm thinking of doing that one, um, really just to get the practice in. I won't be obviously well, just as I wasn't here, I won't be anywhere near the front of that group. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Do you remember Eddie, 24 hours with racing in um, support of World Bicycle Relief, providing bicycles for children in countries where they have to travel long distances to school or to see family, but there is no alternative to walking other than biking. And so providing bicycles to disadvantaged children like that is a superb charity. And it's a superb way to honor that charity by doing 24 hours on Out the Zwift. So Eddie, very good luck with that. I'll check in on that. I'll give you a shout out if I do a live stream. May even see you on the Alp if we go up it in the race. Um, but in the meantime, if you enjoyed um, the, uh, the live stream, please do the like. That's about the first time I've ever remembered to do that. The thumbs up. If you didn't, give it the thumbs down. And um, everyone here, I'm sure, um, I appreciate everyone subscribing. If anyone's watching this live stream after the event, I'm sure you won't get to this point where I'm rambling on like an idiot. Um, please do subscribe to the channel. There you go, Jane. Um, I've managed to do it. There's a little notification thing to remind me to do all that. I always forget to do all of that every single time. Um, and in the meantime, whoever you are and whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive and stay healthy.